everybody welcome to another brand new episode of tech that doesn't buy Woo! yeah all right all I'm right i'm simon c and joining me of course is jeff worden thank you very much for joining us for another episode of tech that doesn't bite the podcast that reviews everyday tech and even new tech that you tell us about so we can give our personal yeah opinions absolutely about that. well today we want to talk about some uh, software that we've used in the past and we think That'll help you guys oh, yeah. when you are typing a lot, you got messages you need to send out, you're doing marketing. These are the two software that we want to talk uh, about. So Jeff, which one should we talk about first? Right. Well, we have two types of programs here. One is Text Expander. The other one is Phrase yeah. Express. Uh, since you turned it over to me, uh, why don't we go with Phrase Express first? Because that's actually a program I use all you the time. It. Now, I have used Text Expander. Yeah, I have used uh, Text Expander before when I uh, used to do technical support, but I'll go with Phrase Express first. Now, Phrase Express is, is actually a pretty good program overall. I like it, but it's not the easiest program to use. Uh, there is a, a I want to say, a fairly strong learning curve to it. But once you get some of the basics down, uh, it's yeah. pretty straightforward. For, for and those, whatnot. And, uh, it, it's not for those just, who don't know what these software are meant to do, they're like little snippets. They give uh, you... Uh, shortcut keys you can access, you can uh, set to, and then like instead of retyping the same message over and over and over, you know, it's just like quick snippets. Right, right. It's kind of like creating like a boilerplate email or text file that will now pop up every time when you hit a certain set of keys. That that's the long and short of it. Uh, but but like I said, it, it's it's pretty straightforward once you actually get past the learning curve and you get the basics down. So if you're gonna use this program, you do need to kind of sit down and kind of figure out some of the basic, use the help screen and all that good stuff. Uh, some of the upsides with it, uh, you, you you can use different colors and fonts in your responses. It'll do that automatically for you. Uh, macros are um, um, are are available. Um, but it does take a lot of experiment experimentation to get it to work right. So you need to have a bit of patience if you want to have it uh, when you you know type in your keyword and have it pop down with Mr. Or Miss or Mrs. Um, then uh, you know maybe have another one for a drop down of you know chief executive officer or whatever uh, casting director maybe or have it bring up websites if you want something specific to come up. So there's a lot of lot of options and a lot of experimenting you would have to do in order to get the the macros to work right, which is not unusual really when you think about it because obviously you can't just assume it'll work the first time. <laughs> Any programmer worth their metal would tell you that it won't work the first time round. Um, but the macros that you could use would actually allow you to use web addresses that allows definitely like dates and times, which could be very helpful if you wanted to pull up today's date, uh, some other specific Tuesday or something like that. Something along those lines that might be helpful if you're doing time sensitive or weekly things yeah. or even monthly things. Uh, it allow yeah it allows you to import uh, backup phrase files. You can pull stuff out of uh, 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 Word documents and Excel spreadsheets, which is pretty cool. Uh, you could even export the phrase file itself. So if something traumatic were to happen to your computer, or you add something that kind of screws things up, you could always just bring it back in, which yeah. is which is pretty nice. You can even uh, export individual phrase files too. Yeah, if you look phrases, at my uh, uh, previous, uh, I used this before in the past, and you can see all mm -hmm. my phrases that I've used. And each of them have mm -hmm. like, you know, hotkeys. So if I'm sending an email out like this, I could just literally press Command P or Control P, maybe or whatever how you set it up in your computer, and bam! Right. That's it. It goes in your message. Right. No, it, it's really great. Yeah, that's actually one thing I thought was cool. And I've not used this particular functionality myself. I decided just to toy around with it. It actually allows you to open files, open folders. You can actually have a created email and send it automatically um i would even just have it open a web page too so which i thought was actually a pretty slick but i found that when you try sending an email automatically just to have it automatically push out there were two issues well not issues i would notice that the one is that it will use obviously your default email program and the primary account so my thunderbird program which has five email addresses on it it doesn't allow me to select which one i want to use it forces it on the primary account which if i'm doing a, a professional send out it's not sending it out under that account which you know could be good or bad depending on how you look at it two it popped up a security warning because it was automatically sending out an email without you know your consent per se so it's just little things like that you need to be aware of that when you when you want to use that kind of functionality um the last item on it and which you know again with uh, uh um 
even with Text Expander, it has a really handy search feature, which it'll look for text things Expander in the description, or things in, in the uh, well, well, both of them. It does it for both. I, I should say both. But Phrase Express has it has a nice uh, search feature. You know, you look for keywords that are in the, the text itself, in the description, uh, or even in the auto text, uh, which is actually the function, the part I use, not the uh, uh, the control keys or a hotkey. I actually use the phrases, like an auto text phrase. So if I want to like a, a voiceover call for through a particular avenue, say like a backstage as an example, I could type out backstage audition VO and it pops out everything I want specifically for backstage auditions for voice work. So that's, that's just a, something you type out and they all have to be unique. So you have to kind of remember a lot of it, but it's a lot better than trying to remember entire phrases or letters that you want to write or copy I, and pasting. So I actually that did works out use really nice um, text expander for a bit. And I kind of like phrase, ex mm -hmm. phrase express more, to be honest. I feel like oh it, really it's, okay. It's I don't I don't know what text expander. I have trouble setting hotkeys, whereas Phrase Express I can mm. do it pretty easily. Um, I know for a fact both of them are not free. They're like trial bases, but then like, well maybe they're what pay to free maybe or free to pay. I know Phrase well, Express you know, like well if for, you don't you don't pay for it, you can still use it, but you're just limited on functionality. Yeah, that's right. Um, well, I guess if, if there are any limits to it, I've not found what they are. I, my, mine is free and I've been using it for, for quite some time, which makes me a bad person. I probably should pay for it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. But, um, but more seriously, yeah, I, I've been using it. I've been getting the updates for it whenever it tells me that it's out of date and it's been working fine, at least for my purposes. Now, it might just be that I'm not using it in such a high volume like I used to when I was a tech support agent. Uh, I used to use it all the time and with text expander, um, it worked really well, and I, I found it personally to be easier to use than Phrase Express. Um, the, uh, uh, but I think unlike how, how you use it, I don't use the hotkey setup. I actually use the auto text. And I think maybe, maybe. maybe that's the difference in usability. I think that's really what it is, that you have to remember all the little auto, auto text phrases to type out so that it'll work. But um, for me, though, it, it's never been that big of an issue. I'll remember a keyword type it in, search for what I need, then type out that auto text so it'll pop out what I need. So it's never, for me, it's always been real easy to use. And I'm inclined to say, at least for me personally, that text expander yeah. Well, yeah, is like easier for me, to use than Phrase Express. For me, for me, I, usability like for me if you could just see like right, what I did just now, I, I have this, I have this one phrase I set to command, command O. That's how I've been using with Phrase Express. Right. So I just do that. And that's mm. my whole message right there. So, right. But with text expander, I, I I understand what you mean. You have to type out the keywords, and they will fill out the the field. Where right. I, I think for me that wouldn't right. work for me because I'm not, you know, I'm trying to avoid typing as much. So I was like, for me, with, <laughs> okay. I mean, I, I guess okay. it really depends what you're doing. To be honest, I mean, yeah, yeah. I, and sometimes I think it's just when when you use a hotkey, it'd be in my opinion with a hotkey, you're you're limiting yourself to how many variants of a given letter or or email yeah. that you're going to send out. As an example, when in, in tech support, there are like multiple solutions to something, so you may need to have, you know, uh, sort of like a category of things if you want to look at it that way. So you don't have a hotkey for a single response. I have multiple responses that I have to use. So the auto text for me makes more sense. But if you're sending out a singular, you know, boilerplate email to a bunch of different people, yeah, you know, control O makes way more sense to just pop one out, pop one out, pop one out, pop it out, then type out the email addresses they're gonna go to and send them all out. That makes way more sense. I I, I totally agree with that. But for me, it, it's more of okay, I need subtle changes and as specifics. So I need not a hotkey, but I need auto text for sure and differences in those auto text so they they differentiate. Yeah, I mean, from I, each other. I definitely could see how both so. of these software Phrase Express and Text Expander. I just dropped my uh, filter, but no. because I'm so excited to talk about this. No, anything but that. Um, Ooh, I mean, I, yeah. I think it's because um, I mean, they're once you get it all set up, they're pretty good. They're pretty good to use. I mean, yeah. it's just the initial yeah. setup is always going to be the most difficult part. It's the learning curve right there. It, exactly. Yeah, it's that's the that's the part. It, it, in my opinion, I would say the text expander is better in that regard. I mean, you still have to experiment with the macros, make sure that they come up right. But if I remember correctly, it's been a while since I've used it. But if I remember right, text expander was well for me a little easier to do than Phrase Express. 
Uh, but I like Phrase Express a lot. It works really well for my purposes, so I, I stick with it. And I know how to use it now, so I, I, I can pound out stuff and not even think twice yeah, about it. I mean, that's how I think about it. I mean, I, if I had to choose, I would choose Phrase Express as well. Yeah, yeah. Well, no, I, I, I would probably go with Text Expander, but you know, I, I, I like Phrase Express, so I'm sticking with it. I, I've got it. Why change it? You know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it kind of thing. So I'm good. You know, so I, I would say both are, are have their ups and downs. So they're pretty, pretty yeah. even keel with each other. Well, what do you guys think of Text Expander and Phrase Express? Do you use them? Uh, which one do you prefer? Do you prefer Text Expander or Phrase Express? You got any cool shortcut keys or, you know, uh, maneuvers that, yeah, fancy, fancy auto, auto tests. <laughs> what, what some of the things that... Uh, you use it for you know what what are some of the methods that you created by utilizing these two software or one of them because you can't yeah, you can't absolutely. use both at the same time so <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah god, god knows, knows we, we tried. tried you've seen the demo right now we tried all right but <laughs> yeah but let yep. us know in the comments below yeah, absolutely. Please do like and subscribe to our channel to Tech That Doesn't Bite. We'd love to hear from you. And hey, if there's even a different program from Text Expander or Phrase Express, we'd love to hear your experience about it so we could try it out and see what we think about it. Uh, we definitely, definitely want to hear you. So like and subscribe absolutely. to our YouTube and channel. And if you guys do have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the description, in the comments. And we also have a Google form, which will be in the description. And uh, you could there, there you could submit your questions, your comments. And we if you have questions... We will answer them in future episodes. And you can ask us anything. We'll go crazy. We'll have a good time with it. But he will. If we can keep it to tech, that's cool. But you know, we're 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 easy. Yeah, okay. I'll answer your weird questions. I'll have some fun with them. You might be sorry, but yeah, yeah we'll have some fun with it. You'll them. definitely be sorry, ladies and gentlemen. It's yeah. true. It's true. Thank you very much for joining us today on Tech That Doesn't Bite. We look forward to uh, seeing you again Bye, on everyone. our next show. Bye.